Heroes in need of a hero. Two firefighters trapped after their truck turns over, and the woman who came to the rescue was happy to return the favor. WLWT News 5's Jackie Congedo spoke with that woman tonight in Claremont County. I knew something was wrong. The sound of screeching wheels sent Jamie Ingram rushing outside just in time to see this fire truck topple onto the side of State Route 222. I was shaking terribly. I was fighting back, trying not to cry because I didn't know what I was going to come up on to. Um, but you just have to very quickly realize, straighten up. These guys need your help. They've helped me out with my parents. I wouldn't have it any other way. Investigators say the wheels dipped off the right shoulder. The driver overcorrected, sending the truck off the left side of the road. Inside, firefighter Jeff Dawson and his partner Tim Goodman were in a state of shock, Ingram says, but she quickly realized they were going to be okay and helped them out of the busted cab. Both guys are out of hospital. They're doing very well. Unfortunately, Chief William Yetter fears the same won't be true for the engine. It's the newest in their fleet and one of only a few that can haul a thousand gallons of water at a time. We have maybe a couple hydrants, but most of it's a non hydrant district. And we're looking at a, a quick knockdown on a fire. For now, they'll rely on mutual aid and back up from their other trucks to fill in. We'll get through this. Uh, we're very resilient. We have a good community, got a good board of trustees, and that's how we'll move forward. Jackie Congedo reporting tonight, the chief telling us that it could cost as much as $600,000 to replace that fire truck. Now, as for the two firefighters, they will be cleared to return to work for their next shift in two days.